Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video also, we are continuing with kinematics portion. That is, as I said you in the previous video, uh, we are doing uh, the exercise questions from DC Pandesar's book. That is, uh, all the concepts which we learned for this uh, JE need preparation, all the things together. All the questions around 75 questions are there, that one we were doing. This is the uh, second part of that uh, third part of that exercise question together with exercise questions. Okay. So here next question is, two boys are standing at the ends A and B of a ground where AB equals A small letter A. The boy B starts running in a direction perpendicular to AB with velocity V1. The boy at capital A starts running simultaneously with velocity V and catches the other boy in time T. Where T is? We need to find out the time uh, taken by the boy to catch the other one. Okay. So for that, here... The A and B, the two boys are standing at the two ends, A, B of a ground. A, a boy A is standing at A and B is another point. Okay. Two boys are standing at the ends A and B of a ground where A, B equals A. So, this is small letter A. The boy, stand, the boy at B starts running in a direction perpendicular to AB. The boy B starts running in a direction perpendicular to B. Perpendicular to AB with the velocity V1. So, he is travelling with velocity V1. The boy at A starts running simultaneously with the velocity V and catches the other boy in time T. So, in time T he is catching. So, B is starting started moving in a direction perpendicular to AB with the velocity V1. And from A, the boy A is start running to catch the boy B. So, in which direction he will be running to catch the boy B? So, he will be running in this direction. He wants to catch the boy B, right? So, here he will be running in this direction, right? So, he is moving with the velocity V. This is the velocity V1. Here we marked the distance between A and B. So, here also we can write down, we can write down the distance covered, what will be the distance covered by B in T time interval because it's given like when he is catching the, uh, when A is catching B, it's taking time T. Therefore, distance covered will be V1 into T and here it will be V into T. So, in a diagram, we should represent everything in the same value because if we are marking the velocity, everything should be velocity. If we are marking the distance, everything should be distance. We need to find out T. How can we find out? It's a right angled triangle. So, here while applying that uh, right angle, uh, this Pythagoras theorem, we can write it as Vt the whole square will be equal to A square plus V1 square T square. From this, we can write it as V square minus V1 square into T square equals A square. Therefore, T we can write it as A divided by root of V square minus V1 square. Okay. So, we will check whether any A divided by root of V square a, uh, T equals a root of A square divided by V square minus V1 square. So, this is the equation here. It's B. It's given like root of A square divided by V square minus V1 square. So, this is the correct answer B. Next question. A bullet emerges from a barrel of length 1.2 meter with a speed of 640 meter per second. A bullet is emerging from a barrel, the length of the barrel is given like 1.2 meter with a speed of 640 meter per second. It's emerging with a speed of 640 meter per second. As, 
assuming constant acceleration the approximate time that it spends in the barrel after the gun is fired so how long it will be spending in inside the uh, barrel itself so bullet is emerging from the barrel of length 1.2 meter and with a speed of 640 meter per second it's emerging out with a speed of 640 meter per second so what will be this distance this is final velocity inside the bull inside the barrel it will be final velocity is 640 meter per second constant acceleration is there approximate time we need to find out the time how can we find out so here initial well initially bullet was bullet will be inside the barrel bullet will be at rest and then it is emerging out from the barrel if this is the barrel of 1.2 meter uh, length and it will be emerging out with 640 meter per second how long it will be there inside itself that is the question so here initially the bullet will be at rest position and finally it is moving out with a velocity 640 meter per second time we can uh, how can we find out distance is given s is equal to ut plus half a t square for that we don't know a right so here we can use the equation v square minus u square equals 2 a s using that we can find out a as uh, what is that 640 square divided by 2 into 1.2 that is a then we can find out v in uh, t in terms of v equals u plus a t therefore 640 equals u is 0 640 square divided by 2 into 1.2 into t therefore 1640 will get cancelled so here now it is 1 here 3 320 so 320 3200 t equals 1.2 divided by 320 therefore 12 divided by 3200 3 divided by 800 so 3 divided by 800 will be the uh, answer or 3 by 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 3 by 8 we can write it as 3 by 8 3 is 26 4.35 0.35 into 10 to the power minus 2 seconds okay this will be the answer next question is a bogey of uniformly moving train is suddenly detached from the train and stops after covering some distance. The distance covered by the bogey and the distance covered by the train in the same time has a relation. So whether both will be equal, first will be half of second, first will be one fourth of the second, one fourth of second and no definite ratio. These are the options given. So a bogey of uniformly moving train is suddenly detached from the train. So train is moving uniformly that is u is constant. There is no acceleration for the train. Okay, It's not accelerating, it's uniformly moving. A bogey of uniformly moving train is suddenly detached from the train. So that bogey is having initial velocity u and finally it is coming to rest position and stops after covering some distance. Distance covered by the bogey and distance covered by the train in the same time has the relation. So in t time what will be the distance covered by the bogey and in t time what will be the distance uh, will be by the uh, what is that uh, train so there uh, whether there is any relation between these two that one we need to find out so how can we find out the relation is uh, distance covered by the bogey in t interval of time see we know that v square minus u square equals 2 a s Okay, here we can write it as v square equals 2 into a into s. Therefore, s will be equal to s of bogey will be equal to v square by 2a. Okay, next is here train. Train is moving with a uniform velocity. Uniform velocity distance travelled will be equal to u into t. Right, so distance travelled by the train is 
u into t since it is having uh, acceleration 0. So, what will be the, t this is t, the value of t we do not know right. So, how can we find out here how long this, how long it will take for the boggy to stop that one we can find out v is equal to u plus a t. Therefore, v is 0 u plus a into t, t equals my u by a, here it is retardation is happening therefore here it will be negative sign therefore it is u by a. If I am in that time interval, what will be the distance covered by the train u by a, u square by a we are getting over here, here yeah, we will your minus u square right u square equals here also u square only acceleration is negative so here u square by 2a here we are getting u square by a so what is the relation between distance traveled by the train and distance traveled by the boggy distance traveled by the boggy divided by distance traveled by the train will be equal to 1 by 2 so distance traveled by the boggy is half of distance traveled by time so in this case first we are going to find out the distance traveled by the boggy and distance traveled by the uh, train in that in the at the same time so same time means here we can consider the time when the boggy is stopping when the, how long it will take the boggy to stop that is u by a because t is not given in the question so here we can find out the value of t and substitute in here you are, we are getting it as u square by a. So, distance travelled by the bogey and the distance travelled by the train we are finding out and substituting the value of time here we are getting the uh, uh, relation as one is one half of the other. A man 45 meter behind the bus when the bus start accelerating from rest with acceleration 2.5 meter per second square. With what minimum velocity should the man start running to catch the bus? So, man is already 45 meter behind the bus. This is bus, this is man. So, the, he is 45 meter behind the bus. The bus is starting from rest and uh, with uh, moving at an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square. With what minimum velocity should the man start running to catch the bus? Okay, so here minimum velocity only it is asked. So we can consider he is moving with constant velocity. It's u is its minimum velocity. So here we need to find out the initial velocity. What will be the velocity of the man? That one we need to find out. So now I am assuming that in t time interval he in t seconds he will catch the bus okay like that we are assuming catch the bus he will catch the bus in t seconds then what will be the distance covered by the man distance covered by the man will be ut okay the, that ut will be equal to distance covered by the man will be equal to he will be covering 45 meter and along with that in during that time how much distance bus is covered during t seconds how much distance uh, this bus is covered so 45 plus distance traveled by the bus he will be th this should be equal right now i can write it as what will be the distance traveled by the bus in t seconds will be equal to ut plus half a t square this will be equal to half into 2.5 into t square substituting the value over here we will be getting ut equals what is 45 plus 1.2 uh, 2.5 uh, divided by 2 t square Okay, this is the equation. Now we can find out what is the value of du by dt. u equals 45 divided by t plus 1.25 into t. 
like that we will be getting. Now since it is the minimum velocity and that velocity is a constant du by dt will be equal to 0. Therefore du by dt is 45 divided by t square minus 1 by x is minus 1 by x square plus 1.25. So, equating that 1.25 equals 45 divided by t square. t square equals 1 point, sorry, 45 divided by 1.25. While calculating, we will be getting the rest of the calculation. I am doing it over here. t square equals 45 double zero divided by 125. Now we will get it as equals 36 therefore t we are getting it as 6 seconds so t is 6 second now we can substitute the value of t over here 45 divided by 6 plus 1.25 into 6 will give you the initial velocity u okay so here what you should do is first since it is minimum velocity, minimum velocity the man should have, that is the question. So for finding out the minimum velocity, we are considering that the man is moving with a constant velocity. When he is moving with a constant velocity u, in uh, he will be covering this 45 meter and along with that the distance covered by the bus during that time while he is running. So he is taking t seconds to complete the journey uh, to catch the bus. So in during that time he will be traveling u into t. Then he need to travel 45 and the how much distance the bus is covering. The distance covered by the bus in t seconds we got it like this ut plus half a t square since u is 0 half into a into t square. Now we can equate ut is equal to 45 plus this distance right now then we are getting the value of u. Since it is minimum it is moving with constant velocity I am differentiating du u. Differentiating u, we are getting it as 0 equals 45 divided by t square plus 1.25. From this, we will get the value of t. After getting the value of t, we can substitute the value in t in u and find out the velocity. Okay, initial velocity. Clear? Body moves for a total of 9 seconds starting from rest with uniform acceleration and with uniform retardation which is twice the value of acceleration and then stops. Duration of uniform acceleration is. So here it's given a body moves for total 9 seconds. So total time traveled by the body is 9 seconds. And starting from rest with uniform acceleration. So it is first it has started from rest and moving with uniform acceleration and then with uniform retardation. Then in second stage he is moving with uniform retardation, negative acceleration which is twice the value of acceleration and then stops. Then this acceleration will be, retardation will be twice the value of acceleration right then um, produced and then stops finally coming to rest position the duration of uniform acceleration we need to find out so it is initially in the accelerated motion then retardation that retardation will be twice the value of acceleration produced okay so in this case the total time is 9 seconds. So here he is taking t1 second, here he is taking t2 seconds. So what will be the time over here? v equals u plus a t if I am substituting v equals u plus a t. Initially velocity is 0, then uh, initial velocity is 0, v is equal to a into t1. So uh, t1 I am getting it as v by a. Here same formula I am applying here also v equals u initially it is moving with the uh, velocity fine what is the final velocity here that will be the initial velocity initial velocity plus initially it is moving with a particular velocity plus at as 2a 
into t2. Okay, then here it is we will be getting it as t2 will be equal to v by 2a. Now we can write it as t1 plus t2 we got it as 9. Therefore, v by a plus v by 2a equals 9. So, 2a is the LCM. We will be getting it as 2v plus 3v by 2a equals 9. So, 3v by 2a equals 9. Therefore, v by a we got it as 6. Okay. So, here in the question it is they asked. Here in the question it is asked duration of uniform acceleration. This is under uniform acceleration, right? V by A. So here we got V by A as 6. So what will be this V by A value? It will be equal to 6 seconds. So an object which is covering total 9 seconds in that it is starting from rest position and moving under acceleration and then after that it is moving under retardation. That retardation value will be twice that of the uh, what is that uh, acceleration so velocity is finally it is coming to rest position and t2 is given here so he can we will be getting t2 as v by a substituting the respective values v by a equals 6 which is the initial uh, the time required for the acceleration okay clear so this is how this kind of questions will be solving so i am winding up for today Hope all these questions are useful for you and if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.